Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are up here in Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado. We are finally getting to go up to Freedom Folding Bikes so I can get the Brahmi here worked on. It needs a lot of stuff. It needs some massive TLC. I, w I was getting this noise when I was riding down the road, which is really, really difficult to uh, figure out where it was actually coming from. That was actually driving me crazy. <laughs> I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. I brought it up here to Freedom Folding Bikes and Chuck did a test on the uh, joints and he found some play on this joint right here, the main top tube joint. Not sure how much you can see that moving, but you can feel it definitely. There's definitely some movement in that joint, which kind of sucks. So this pin, this pin is inside the frame there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill out from the bottom and then push the pin out through the top of the frame. And we're gonna put this new pin in to see if that's gonna solve the problem uh, if the wear is on the pin itself. If the wear is on the metal of the hinges on the main frame of the bike, then we're gonna have to get uh, one of the oversized pins, ream out the hole for the oversized pin and put the new pin in. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna check is to see if the pin is the part that's worn out or not. Sounds like a scary process. <laughs> <laughs> it's major surgery, <laughs> for sure. I definitely gotta stop being so hard on my bikes. So we use a 6.35 millimeter drill, also known as a quarter inch. And uh, we're gonna drill out from the bottom. And we just wanna drill a couple millimeters down. She goes. pin. Wow. Compared to a new pin. Wow, that's uh, definitely a lot thinner, isn't it? So hopefully, Brompton gods will be uh, <laughs> kind and it'll just be that being the problem and not the actual frame of the bicycle. soft mallet on this one. Yeah. 
And now, let's see if I think that's going to do it. You mean we actually got lucky? We got lucky. <laughs> yep. That's something I'm usually not. Now I'm going to flip this back over on that pin. special Brompton hinge pin tool and what we're going to do is use that to push this pin in So one side of the pen is knurled? Yes. so that it can't go down or up. Medication on this part, just so that it all right, let's see if you can make that creak. I might leave the rear wheel of this one with you to go through and see, I mean, if it needs a whole replacement, because I would like to definitely have an extra wheel for this bicycle yep, anyways, yep, yep. Um, because I know parts of them were hard to get. Mm -hmm. I might just leave it with you and have you go completely through it. And uh, yeah. if it does need parts and they are hard to get and it's a weight, it's not a huge deal, but. Okay, so a new wheel. Grab that. We need to do a shout out to the tech support guys in London. Um, they sent this black six speed, black edition wheel just for this bike. Uh, this is a, a wheel that's not available right now, but um, they, pulled, they pulled one out of their assembly line specifically for this bike so that Brian could have a wheel. I appreciate it guys a lot. It's gonna get me back on this bike, which I am so anxious to do, is get back on this bike and ride it a lot. Had to get some things fixed and I have not had time to get up here and I've been really, you know, chomping at the bit to get back up here so that Chuck can look over this bike and fix it. Uh, there for a while, the internal hub parts were really difficult to get and Chuck was doing his best to try to get the, the thing lined out. I'm gonna leave this wheel with Chuck and let him go through it and get the parts he needs. Even if it takes a while, it's not gonna be a big deal because obviously now we got the new wheel, so.
Freedom Folding Bikes is several miles down this road. I just rode all the way up here, test riding the Brompton after all the repairs we did, and whoo, it, uh, it rides smooth. You guys saw that noise that this thing was making. It was driving me crazy, especially when I torque on the bike. Um, of course, we got the uh, main top tube uh, hinge pin replaced. And luckily it wasn't too bad as far as, um, it was loose definitely, but the, uh, the pin didn't need to be drilled oversized and that's nice. We got a new chain, we got new cogs, we got a new rear wheel. Look at that. <laughs> I am so happy, a new Sturmy Archer three speed wide range hub. We got a new bottom bracket put in. Um, I'll show you what my bottom bracket looked like before. Yeah, you saw that, right? I mean, that bottom bracket was falling apart. I put in a cheap bottom bracket, but it didn't help the problem any. It messed up the chain line and it was making all kinds of noise, all kinds of chain noise. But yeah, uh, we got all that taken care of. Everything is all lined out. I think we'll be fine from now on, or at least for a while anyway. And now I can get back to riding my Brompton. I really want to thank the people at Brompton for uh, taking one of the wheels off the production line. I really, really appreciate that because that definitely helps me out and it keeps me on my Brompton, which is where I want to be. All right, guys, I am home and the Brompton performed beautifully. I am so pleased. The shifting was, oh, it was like new. I mean, the bike feels like a new bike and I'm so very happy. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be riding it to work. So I'm very, very pleased that I can get to ride this bike again. I wanna thank uh, Chuck at Freedom Folding Bikes for taking care of my baby here. And I also wanna thank Brompton for um, providing a wheel. I know these things are very hard to get and I really appreciate you making one available for me, so. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you have any comments or questions, leave it down in the comment and question section. Slap a like on the video if you like it, and I will talk with you on the next one. Bye-bye.